application of copper piping in installations. A comparative test of copper polyethylene and multilayer. In this first test, we will examine the use of different materials in gas installations. Our first test is the oven test. The pipes are heated in an oven up to a temperature of 650 degrees Celsius, with a pressure in the pipe of 100 millibar nitrogen. With PEX, the pipe begins to melt fairly quickly. Already after 5 minutes 35 seconds, the nitrogen escapes from the pipe. The pressure drops and the pipe melts down and starts dripping, only to completely burn away in the end. Using multi-layer, we see the same scenario. The pipe melts after 5 minutes and 45 seconds. The pressure drops and the pipe ignites. With copper, we reach a temperature of 650 degrees Celsius without any problems. The pipe and the fitting resist the heat without leak or fire. In the second test, the pipes are placed in an open flame. The pipe contains natural gas under a pressure of 25 millibars, as in home situations. Using polyethylene tubes, the pipe collapses after only 15 seconds. The natural gas escapes and ignites. The pipe melts away completely. After 36 seconds, the multilayer tube collapses and the natural gas is released. Even at a temperature of 600 degrees Celsius, the copper pipe perfectly resists the blaze. No gas escapes from the tube or fitting. Copper guarantees a safe installation. In this test, we will examine the pressure resistance of the different materials. The pipes are exposed to a high water pressure until they burst. As we can see, the polyethylene tubes already collapse at a pressure of 65 bars. The multilayer pipe resists the pressure a bit longer, but doesn't sustain a pressure of 75 bars. The tube bursts. The copper pipe holds until a pressure of 300 bars and is significantly stronger than the plastic ones. Now we will do a tensile test. The pipes are stretched to their maximum limit until they break. The maximum tensile strength of this polyethylene pipe reaches up to 21 Newton. This multilayer tube reaches a maximum tensile strength of 35 Newton. The maximum tensile strength of this copper pipe goes up to 274 Newton per square millimeter, which indicates that it is seven times stronger than multilayer and as much as 13 times stronger than polyethylene. The final test is the expansion test. By warming up the circulating water with 50 degrees Celsius, the pipes will expand. The length of this copper tube is 10 meters. In this test, we will compare copper with polyethylene. At a temperature increase of 50 degrees Celsius, this results in an expansion of less than one centimeter. With polyethylene, we have 10 centimeters of expansion. This expansion shows us the necessity of very large expansion legs for polyethylene. If not, the pipes will bend, possibly damaging the installation. Finally, some recent studies have also shown that copper pipes result in healthier plumbing installations. Copper reduces the growth of germs and pathogens. The growth of microorganisms, as seen here, will occur slower in copper pipes than in plastics. To conclude, we notice that working with copper pipes, we create fire-resistant, strong, durable and healthy 
installations. <laughs>